officially official team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video and the ravens they are getting through it they sign in pick after pick after pick after pick after pick they got, they still got quite a few to get through but they, they they doing it um and the latest draft pick to be signed was actually their earliest that being kyle hamilton their first round pick, number 14 overall, number 14 on his jersey. Maybe he can get 14 picks this year. That'd be nice. We'll see. Now, as far as the money, um, he gets a, a four-year, because you know the first round picks, their deals are four years with the fifth-year option. But he gets the four-year deal, fully guaranteed contract. Fully guaranteed. So it's all his. All that money's coming to him uh, for 16, 16.255 mil. It's a lot of money. And then on top of that, you get a sign bonus of a little over nine mil. Yep. It it pays to be a really good player. Uh, and it'll pay even more if you continue to be a great player uh, in the pros. So shout out to uh Kyle Hamilton. Now, um the Ravens, they they moving through it. They moving through it. Like we've been talking about with these last couple videos about these draft picks signing. Once one does it, the other ones do it, and the other ones, and the other ones, and the other ones. It just is it's the domino effect. Um, but some more news when it comes to the Ravens. Well, before that, there's a couple of guys that they still have left. Because, you know, Ravens, they drafted like uh, 62 players uh, in this draft. So they got a couple contracts left. And, and I'm glad that Jamison Hensley, he tweeted out the ones that remain. That being David Ajabo, who they drafted in the second round um, from Michigan. Uh, Daniel Falele. In the fourth round, uh, Jalen Amore Davis, the cornerback in the fourth round, Charlie Collar in the fourth round, Jordan Stout in the fourth round. Like So, yeah. So, that we're all their fourth round picks. And this is something that Jeff Zrebic talked about yesterday, I believe. Um, he said with the fourth round, that's usually the trickiest round uh, when it comes to contracts. The reason, I don't remember why, but he said it is. And with the Ravens having all the, four, the six fourth round picks that they had, yeah. they. Um, but they'll get through it. They'll get through it. Now, um... There had been a little schedule update uh, that I'm sure a lot of Ravens fans would appreciate when it came to uh, the preseason schedule. Uh, because the Ravens in the preseason, they playing the Cardinals. Are they playing the Commanders too? Well, you know what? Let me just look it up, man. They play. Oh, they're playing the Titans. Yeah, the Commanders. There we go. The Titans, the Cardinals, and the Commanders. They play the Commanders every single year in the preseason. Every year. I ain't got no problem with it. I, mean, I don't really care. But they played them like every year in the preseason. But anyway, um, so the Thursday night game against the Titans, uh, they played that at 730, Thursday, August 11th. Sunday night, August 21st, is the Cardinals at 8 p.m. And then Saturday, August 27th, the following week, is the Commanders at 7 p.m. But with the Cardinals game, the Cardinals game, you know, the Arizona Cardinals, you know where Hollywood went? Oh, yeah, you know, you remember him. With that game, uh, that is going to be a, uh, a nationally televised preseason game. So if you weren't already excited for preseason, I know that got you out your seat right away. Uh, but that'll be cool. And y'all know um, we usually lock in on in preseason games just to look at everybody. Just to see how everything, everything looking and whatnot, making sure it's all silky smooth. And even if it's not, you don't got to trip about it. It's just it's a preseason game. Um, but that's, of course, the opportunity for the young guys to get their shine. Uh, but the preseason, they can tell you a bit of the story. They can tell you a bit of the story. It's crazy because um, I remember when Lamar played in the uh, week week three of the preseason last year. The offensive line was not looking all that. And it was their first time playing together, but it was not looking too good. <laughs> and guess what? It was bad. <laughs> and it ended up being bad all year. So, But on the flip side, on a good note, like in the preseason, the Ravens, they were playing Brandon Stevens a lot. They were playing him so much. And that translated to the regular season because they ended up having to play him a lot. Now, some of it ended up being due to injury. But even before Deshaun Elliott got hurt, Brandon Stevens was out there a lot. So, I know people like look at the preseason like, mm, preseason? Yeah, yuck. I'm not watching that garbage, man. I don't watch preseason for. The preseason, they can give you a sort of preview of the regular season. That's why it's called preseason. Pre means before, before the season, and also preview, preview of the season. So it goes hand in hand. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I love you. I hope you're having a really good day. I'm about to go play some Mario Party with Carter, and we out.